Hello and welcome, I'm Aruma. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 19 of Let's Game Decadence as Cadiz. So, we have a whole bunch of wars, which look terrifying, but it's actually just this little bit here. And I had just declared them all, and now we're trying to rally our troops that way so that we can begin world conquest. Must go faster. Must go faster. So, let's see what, uh, I don't remember where I sent them, so let's just see how they do. For the moment. So that's like the mercenary company, yep, Captain Assad the Wise of... Captain of Gilchman. Gilchman. Leading troops in Kildare. Let's go kill some more men. That sounds like a plan to me. Now I believe, okay, so yes, we're rallying everything here. Where are my boats? Boats, boats, boats. In fact, why don't we take these boats to the sea? And then we'll just rally directly to the sea. That way if they are closer to a different sea province, they can use that. So yes, so like you guys here, why don't you guys all go towards the boats and the boats. And the boats! Bum bum, bum bum, bum, bum bum bum. I like this music. Do you? I think it's fantastic. Sure, you can be humble, my son. We have 6,000 men. I think that's enough to at least consider sending the boats in. Now we'll wait. We'll wait for them. And you guys are heading to there. That's good. You guys are all heading up to there. That's fine. We need boats for there. That's a war goal. That looks like a war goal. Of course, these two are. They're both being sieged. That's ideal. Good, good. What's this then? Surrender? No. I'm going to marry my courtier. That's kind of an annoying little thing for you to bother me about, isn't it? How about we have these guys go take care of this little peasant rebellion, get rid of that problem. And uh, other than that, do we have troops down here? Oh, we do, and I even missed one. I guess it's a good thing that I did that. My son, the lustful 15-year-old, needs an educator. Well, I don't know. We should probably use him for opinions since, uh, you know, that's really all he's good for. Everyone seems to like me already, though. I'm an amazing person, aren't I? Look at this. Plus 100. That's quite good. We'll go with this guy. We'll make him into a spy mastery type person so that he can try to murder me. That'll be amazing. Alright, so there's that that boat's pretty much full, so let's go. And again, I don't even think that we're really gonna need these troops. We're already sitting on what appears to be most of the war goals. I mean, we've got the peasant revolt that doesn't matter. We've got this guy who lives there, we're sitting on him. Ulster. Okay, we need Ulster. Alright, that's fair. Don't you dare. What are you thinking now? <coughs> it's not nice of you at all. Do we have an organizer? Of course not. There we do. Can you get away in time? If I put you guys in the center? For whatever reason, the organizer trait doesn't seem to matter. Unless it's the guy in the center. Oh. Whoa. Are you guys going to make it? Nope, they didn't make it. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to go kill them anyway. They're gonna keep causing problems. We'll send these boats up here to Ulster, then. That seems like the most logical place for them. And we lost another battle. That was this one. Okay. We lost another battle. Oh, lovely! England actually managed to put together 10,000 men. Never mind. New idea for this army. Ulster can wait. Alright, and this this looks to be like the place where we're going to have a big battle. So yes, we'll put our best commanders in charge of this army. And then we'll just dock in Somerset. And start a new battle, and unfortunately he, he totally routed that army. But uh, this should be fine. We are playing on hard mode, so the uh, ratio is not ideal, really. In fact, our right flank might fall. Nope, it didn't, thank goodness. But it was close. It's a close battle. Numeric advantage wins. Now, the rest of these armies I do think we'll need to go pick up then, since I didn't realize just quite how many men England was going to have. I, I probably did know it the last time I played, I just sort of totally kind of forgot. Let's see. Ransom? Ooh. I know I just saw that we captured a mare and a count, and I think that I'd like to ransom them. You don't have enough money? 
Well, fine. Sit in prison. We'll play, we'll play torture games with you. It will be fun. And you're gonna like it. I'm no longer humble? That's sad. Okay. The boats, then. We don't need them to stay. Let's let's quickly go grab this 3300 and just jump them across the boat. Just jump them across the water here. Little puddle jump. That's about to fall. I think we'll start to see a couple surrenders soon. And then these boats are obligated now <clears throat> to head over here to pick up this army. And apparently this little thing is continuing to not die. Stop raiding my land. I have another son. I, we're actually at 4% decadence because I have too many kids. So this will probably be the last time. Um, should we keep him? Oh, mm, well, I already clicked the button, so we have to. I was thinking we might keep him up for the extra bonus opinion with infidels, but uh, this guy's actually quite upset with me. Surprisingly. Religious differences. What the heck do you believe in? Shia? It's nonsense. Here's some money. You're my vassal. Is a ruler. Base reluctance. You should like me enough to just convert. I'll make you into my marshal. This other guy's okay. Yeah, well, here, I'll make you my marshal. Now you better convert. And the guy that I just fired, <clears throat> who's now upset with me, we will give him some money. Here. There you go. Fancy. Now, what else can we do? We need to consider maybe plotting. Do we have Do we have the vassal, uh, the release to prisoner modifier? We do. Okay. No point in doing anything there, then. These boats cannot hold that many. So we'll take this many, and then we'll go. This is for Ulster. And I think we're going to see some surrenders now. Another prisoner, that doesn't really matter. There we go. Get rid of that Shia problem. Blech. Blech. Shia. Somebody was just murdered on someone else's order. They killed a 12-year-old boy. So yes, how many decadent kids do I have now? One, two, three, four. Four of them. Oh, bastards. Are any of them any good at anything? Ah, I have one son who'd be an excellent steward. My heir, in fact. Um, I've had this guy's levies raised for like the last couple decades, so that's kind of makes sense why he's upset with me. Let's make my son into the... Not Marshall. You're kind of a little bit misguided here. We'll make you into our steward. Because he, uh... Well, he's frankly the best at it. And because it will lower his decadence. He'll knock him off that list. Decadence isn't something I'm really worried about, but... And then, let's see if we can find that same guy that I just pissed off. It's probably this guy. Yep, fired from council. Here's some money. Severance pay. So, yeah. And it looks like we'll need to spread on to these three. The Thunderer, forgive me, I have decided to find salvation in the greatest and convert to the Sunni faith. I hope we can put this unpleasantness behind us forthwith. So England, this is what happens. <clears throat> Whenever you attack a pagan, they have the opportunity at any point, it's a decision they can make, a decision in this list here, where they can just convert to attacker's religion. And what they'll sometimes do is instead of giving you up, giving up any land, they'll just convert to the attacker's religion, which is annoying as hell. Fortunately for me, it's still ongoing, because apparently this is an invasion. <laughs> so that's nice. I, I think that that was supposed to end the war, but it didn't really work out exactly how he expected. So one stays, one here, one here, one here, one here. And uh, one here, one here. Since now that I think of it, yes, now that we are invading England, we should pretty much siege everything they own, including that county. Now this army then, let's spread that out as well, we'll go groups of about 2,000. This needs to be like a huge, huge invasion if, if we're really gonna get a lot out of it. Although, didn't I already do an invasion and find out that in the invasion of England actually... Yeah, I think I sieged through everything somewhere in this playthrough. I think it was... I don't know, but um... It seems to me like there's not much point in sieging everything, come to think of it. 
That's right, that's right, that's right. What we need to do is we need to just win the war, and then we need to have at least medium crown loss so that I can revoke everyone's titles. So I need to die soon. I need to... It's time to go to number three. Umar. Umar! It's your turn. Tag, you're it. Bounce on him. So we're at 92%, 64%, 75%, 37%. Looking okay. 100% against England. Alright, so this is the invasion of England. Takes or vassalizes all titles in the Kingdom of England. And then it does say takes all occupied territory. So it's kind of, I don't know, should we siege everything or not? I think we will, just to be safe. We need more troops, though, to make that make that happen. Why don't you guys head over here? And, uh... Looks like we're right on time to pick up some more men. Okay, come on. To the boats! How long is it gonna take you guys? August, that's like a whole month. Oh, jeez. Guess we have to wait. Oh, I, I have a sufficient army to... What is... Let's just take a look at the Dejour England. Okay, so we would take everything that he owns here, and then we'd just miss out on a couple titles, and we, we would have vassals beneath us. I'm not going to siege everything. I'm just going to end the war. That's just way, way, way faster. So we did end up taking what looks like what was his primary titles. So let's just use the distribute button, because I don't want that stuff. And now I'm going to spread out on the remaining targets here. So one here, 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 here. And then uh, let's just win the rest of these wars real quick, which we already have one there. Okay, next. And press the button, distribute. Okay. Three more wars to go. Looks like Ulster... Tara, Tara, Ulster, and Refni. So basically, we're almost done. And then I'm going to need to take a little bit of time, time-wise, but not in-game time-wise, to straighten out England. Because we need to keep this thing rolling. Quickly. And I need to have it proper, otherwise they're going to cause tons of problems for me later. So yes, uh, how about we in fact pile up some of these troops? over here. And it sounds like actually I don't need these extra men. So let's disband them because I am, I am pissing off all my vassals. That's the other reason I need to die. Negative 71, negative 70. I've been raising my <clears throat> my vassals armies for a while now, haven't I? Whatever, she can be cynical, I don't care. How are we doing on tech? Can we get some more siege tech? Nope. What I'd really like to do is declare an invasion of Scotland now. Truce timers are expiring with Holland. That's interesting. Denmark is rather large. We are in a good spot, I think, to win this whole deal. I have my self-imposed 100-year conquest goal, which we have 50 years remaining on. Which is going to be tough. It'll be really tough. But it's possible. The, the key, I think, is going to be to to not expand in a straight line. Like, I can't just take the border. I'm going to have to, like, actually expand in, like, really aggressive spikes into the land so that I have more border countries that I can then declare war on. Because what's going to limit my, my pace in, expan in expansion is actually just going to be my eligible targets, who I can declare war on. So I need to, to do that, I think. Okay, come on, Ulster, give up. Give up, give up, go. We win. Game over. We win. I win. Surrender. Yes, one surrenders. You want to... You think that Emir Yahya... You think Emir Yahya has too much power. He is not even, like... Who in the heck are you even talking about? So you just don't like the fact that my vassal has four duchies? No. I gave him those duchies for a reason. They're all tiny and crap. Alright, one more quick war to finish up. Let's press that button again. 
I love the distribute vassals button. And he should surrender very shortly. There's only one battle that didn't go well. I bet as soon as we get two more of these. There's one right now. One, one, one. And actually, probably these two. These two will do it. 95, and... 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 100. That's a lot of prisoners. In the war. Press the button. Okay. Good, good. Now we're going to get our troops back in our own lands. We've got the retinue and the mercenary company up here, which we'll use to declare war on Scotland next. Scotland only has 10,000 men, so it'll be very easy to beat them. And the great thing is that we actually have troops in this newly conquested land that we can already raise. So we will see how well we can do. I'll take a break here, and I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.